Buenos dias, mi gente. Soy yo, Cristino Flores. I want to welcome you to another episode of Commuter with Cristino. Today I was reflecting on the story David and Goliath found in the book of Samuel. And we learned that we have two great armies and represented them is on one end for the Philistines, you have Goliath, huge warrior, over six feet tall, full body armor, helmet, body armor, arm armor, chest, legs armor. He's covered from head to toe, has a sword, a javelin. And then representing the Israels, you have Israelites, you have David. Now, David, I want to give you a little backstory about David. See, David is a shepherd and his father has other sons, older brothers uh, for David. And David is there supporting his brothers. Now, David's there to give him whatever they need, water, food, uh, the guardian of the supplies. And of course, you know, he, he spent his youth, you know, being a shepherd. That's what he did. He, he tended his flock. Now, when Goliath comes forth, all of the Israelites are in fear. They're intimidated. Uh, who would oppose this huge, massive warrior? Well, David is offended that neither his brothers nor any of the warriors would stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with this giant. Because, see, David's faith is in our Lord and Savior. And... His heavenly father, God, he is obedient. And he's offended that Goliath would make fun of God's army. I mean, who is this Philistine? So David challenges his brothers and the armies. And they tell him, wait a minute, you're just a shepherd boy. Now, David is no ordinary shepherd. Yes, he does have, he's courageous. He does have, well, let me put it this way, he believes in God. Now, what's unique about this young man is that he has been training all his life as a defender. You see, when he's guide, uh, guarding his sheep, he has to use one weapon. Well, he has a staff, of course, when his sheep uh, goes astray, but... He's armed with a sling. Now this sling is this leather pouch with straps. And with the straps, he places a stone in them. And with the stone, he can twirl it around his head. And when he releases one of the strings, the stone will go to wherever he's aiming. Now David has been practicing. I mean, he's been training. He's been hitting birds from the sky. He's had to even defend his sheep against wolves, lions, bears. I mean, David, he's no fluke. Number two, when he steps on that battlefield to face Goliath, he's pulling all his faith in God. You see, he's saying, hey, there's nothing I'm not going to accomplish. I have God at my back. I believe in him. And I'm going to make this work. And I'm going to defeat this giant. I mean, he does. Because see, while Goliath is moving towards David, David grabs one of his stones, puts it in his sling, twirls it, and boom, hits Goliath right in the forehead. Goliath falls down. And when you think about this story, think about all of the giants that are opposing you. All the problems, all the concerns, all the worries. All of these challenges can be defeated by placing your faith in God. Now, it's important that you follow Jesus Christ, God's only begotten Son. Because through Him, you can do anything. Because see, with God, nothing is impossible. Guys, that's all I have for you today. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to click and subscribe. Thank you. Animated Rebels, baby.
to the guy. 